Hi everyone! Recently, we've released a cool multifunctional smart car for Arduino. The trailer before has shown us what's used in the kit and how amazing things the car can do. But what are the details? How to assemble this little cute body? How to realize the amazing functions besides normal running, which are obstacle avoidance, line following, and light seeking? Now we are making this tutorial to show you the great details. So let's rock and roll! So this is our smart car kit for Arduino. First, let's open the box and see what's in the kit. On top is a paper card that reads, we'll stop sending any CDs with our products. Therefore, for the related materials such as code and user manual in PDF, you may visit the learn section of our website and download the zip file. A user manual. We've spent a lot of time and energy on the guide, which is illustrated with thorough description of each module, assembly instructions, and the detailed steps to implement each function. So it would be a great helper for you to further learn the car and even other robot cards. An 18650 by 2 battery holder. Four wheels. Two driving wheels and two driven wheels. A screwdriver. Suitable for M1.25 to M4.25 screws. A pack of threaded fasteners. A ribbon to be used on the battery holder so you can take the batteries out easily. Some drummer wires. A USB cable to connect the car with your computer. Two gear reducers to drive the car. The sensor shield that expands the IOs of the UNO board so you can connect more sensors. Two obstacle avoidance modules. And five tracking modules. A photoelectric switch to detect distance, with the advantage of long detection distance, less interference by visible light and easy assembly, it can be used not only in smart cars, but also in product counting on assembly lines. 4 photosensitive modules An L2 198 and DC motor driving module to drive the two gear reducers and also supply power for the center shield. Step down DC to DC converter module to reduce the voltage and then power the bigger servo, the MG995. The Tower Pro Micro Servo SG90 to control the turning of the photoelectric switch. Tower Pro Micro Servo MG995 to control the movement of the car. And the Sunfounder Uno board. To use the car and complete functions it supports, you also need to prepare two 18650 batteries. And at last, the acrylic plates. So now take off all the parts and rip off the stickers. Make sure all the holes are cleared or it may influence the subsequent assembly. Now all the stickers are taken. Before assembling the servo, you need to debug it and make it stay at the position of 90 degrees. So here we take out the Sunfronted Uno board, the step-down DC module, the sensor shield, the battery holder with the battery inside, two drummer wires, a USB cable, a screwdriver, and the two servos. First, plug the sensor shield on the Sunfronted Uno board. Now connect the power source with the step-down DC to DC module. Connect the red wire to anode and black to cathode. So after inserting the wires in, tighten them. 
then the DC module to sensor shield, anode to VCC, and cathode to GND. And then connect the servo to the sensor shield. The brown wire to GND, red to VCC, and orange to signal. So now they are all wired. Then connect the Sunbound Uniboard to your computer with the USB cable. Open the car forward.inno file under the path car, one point car forward, car forward. Click tools board to check whether the board is selected. For this car, we use a UNO. Then port to see whether the corresponding port is selected. After uploading the code successfully, you should hear a sound when the servo rotates and it should be at the center position now. But the tuning may be too subtle to notice. Here's another method to calibrate the servo and check the result. First, unplug the servo wires from the sensor shield. Then spin the rocket arm to either end. Plug the wires again and you should see upon the plugging, it spin to the 90 degrees quickly. In a similar way, calibrate the smaller servo as well. So that's all for the components introduction and testing of servos. Next, we'll start to assemble the car. So, see you next tutorial.